Hello, my dear students. This is me again, your teacher, Ruru. And today I'm recording for you to help you out with the unit number two, second part. So now I'm going to tell you this in Spanish. Aquí les voy a mostrar lo que van a hacer ustedes mañana como grupo. Yo les voy a compartir el video y ustedes deben de trabajar en sus grupos haciendo los ejercicios que yo les voy a ir mostrando. De tal manera que ustedes puedan trabajar autónomamente dentro de sus grupos y a través de este video saber qué van a hacer. Entonces, empecemos. Let's start. Okay, so let's begin with unit number two, lesson three, get someone's contact information. In this unit, we need to know telephone numbers, email, and house addresses. So let's check it out. First, we need to vocabulary for numbers from one to 20. Check it out. Let's see. Read and listen. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now listen again and repeat. Zero, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 or 20. Now pay attention. When you mention zero, you can say O. Oh. In English, Cuando estás hablando de números telefónicos, por lo regular utilizan O, O, O. So, if I say, for example, what number is this? 17. What number is this? 18. What number is this? 20 or 20. Now, if I say, what is this number? 9022278384. Seven six, or puedo decirlo de dos en dos o de tres en tres. En este caso, two and two. Ninety, twenty two, twenty seven, eighty three, oh oh, seven six. So now, what is your account number? My account number is o four five eight nine two zero two nine. What is your passport number? My passport number is 9320920204. Now, what is your what is your ID cédula? What is your ID number? My ID number is 12546707. Okay? No necessary to say 
12 millones 14 no in this case you can say one by one good now and here we have grammar grammar is be information questions with what remember that what is wh question so when you say what's his name the answer is his name is mark randall what's his last name it is crowdall or his last name is crowdall what's ellen's address 18 main street what's her email address email address is dover o d o v e r 14 at at hyphen hypnet dot com what's her occupation she's a writer what's their phone number it is a three five 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 recuerden para respuestas cortas solo esto es aquí si queremos practicar bien el inglés decimos their phone number is a three five 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 o o three seven now what are their first names luis and samuel or they are luis and samuel now Cómo decir los email addresses? Decimos dober14 at dot com. Sí. O for zero o o three seven. All right. Now here we have a stress in two words pair. First name phone number, email address, email address. So no first name, phone number, email address. So you have to say like together. Read and listen. First name, phone number, email address. Now listen again and repeat. First name, Phone number. Email address. So the question is, excuse me, what's your first name? Excuse me, what's your phone number? Excuse me, what's your email address? Your email address, your email address. Now, en este ejercicio, van a ser name, Valerie. Here, last name, Peterson. Telephone number, you have to write the telephone number. And here, the email, email you hear. Matilda, last name, telephone number, and Quinn, listen. Listen to the conversations. Write the information. Conversation one. Ms. Peterson, what's your first name? Valerie. That's B-A-L-E-R-I-E. That's right. And what's your phone number? 2570843. Thank you. And how about your email address? It's peterson5 at hipnet.com. Slower now. Conversation two. Last name? El Yakin. How do you spell that? E L Y A K I N. Thank you. And your phone number? 301-555-4500. Now, conversation three. Mr. Quinn, what's your phone number? My phone number? It's 338-2257. And your first name is James? Yes, it is. J-A-M-E-S. Oh, and what's your email address? It's quinn18 at hipnet.com. Thank you, Mr. Quinn. Conversation four. So your last name is Park, correct? That's right. P-A-R-K. 
Thank you. And your phone number, Mr. Park? 011 Now listen again and check your work. Conversation 1. Ms. Peterson, what's your first name? Valerie. That's V-A-L-E-R-I-E? -E. That's right. And what's your phone number? 257-0843. Thank you. And how about your email address? It's peterson5 at hipnet.com. Conversation 2. Last name? El Yakin. How do you spell that? E L Y A K I N. Thank you. And your phone number? 301 555 4500. Conversation 3. Mr. Quinn, what's your phone number? My phone number? It's 338 2257. And your first name is James? Yes, it is. J A M E S. Oh, and what's your email address? It's quinn18 at hipnet.com. Thank you, Mr. Quinn. Conversation four. So your last name is Park, correct? That's right. P-A-R-K. Thank you. And your phone number, Mr. Park? 011-993367. Como pudieron darse cuenta, aquí no está despacito, es una cuestión de rapidez y en grupos deben de trabajarlo para poder descifrar qué teléfono, qué apellido, qué nombre ellos mencionan ahí, inclusive el correo. Es lo importante. Bueno, vamos a la next activity. In this activity is vocabulary grammar. Complete the questions. So, for example, utilizando lo que ya vimos allá en la parte de gramática. En la parte de gramática, entonces, tenemos que tener en cuenta aquí qué es lo que vamos a hacer de acuerdo a la respuesta que nos dan. Por ejemplo, what's his address? 11 Main Street. Entonces, aquí tenemos que tener en cuenta cuáles son las respuestas para ver qué tipo de pregunta hacemos. Pero hay que mirar el grammar. And this is a conversation, see, ¿Sí? a conversation. Listen. Read and listen. What's your name? Dave Mitchell. And what's your phone number? 523-6620. 523-6620. Y esta es la forma de practicarla. Listen again and repeat. Then practice the conversation model with a partner. What's your name? Dave Mitchell. And what's your phone number? 523-6620. Bueno, esto es ejercicio, este ejercicio. That's right. That's right. Recuerde que cuando hablamos de lenguaje reciclado podemos decir it, your first name, your last name, your address, your email, thank you, you are welcome, nice to meet you, goodbye, see you. So, eso es lo que le llaman reciclar lenguaje. Este ejercicio va a estar en los que yo les voy a pedir que ustedes hagan. Entonces van a ser de escuchar, de gramática y van a ser de conversación. Next page. Aquí hay un reading. Y lo ideal es que cada quien lea una partecita y se ajuste a ver si lo hacen bien o no. Cada quien debe leer una partecita para ver si está leyendo bien o no. 
Read about six famous people. Where are they from? This is Nadia Santini. Where is Miss Santini from? She's from Italy. And what's her occupation? She's a chef. This is Chris Bodie from the U.S. What's his occupation? He's a musician. This is Li Na. She's from China. What's Ms. Li's occupation? She's an athlete. This is Vincent Lam. Mr. Lam has two occupations. He's a doctor and a writer. He's from Canada. This is Diana Haddad. What's her occupation? Ms. Haddad is a singer. She's from Lebanon. This is Sophie Okaneda. Ms. Okaneda is from the UK. What's her occupation? She's an actor. <clears throat> okay, now. Este es un ejercicio en el que deben de trabajar, que es a speaking point to the people in the photo. Excuse me, what's his name? Is Peterson. Good. What is his address? Is 22 Bank Street. What's his email? Or what is Mr. Matson email? Is P M A E T S O O P Matson at C C C dot com. So, esto es para practicar, no teniendo en cuenta lo que ustedes tienen como información, sino como otra información. Digamos, excuse me, what are their names? Frank and Bill Green. What are their telephones? Three, four, six, seven, nine, eight, nine, nine. And what are their address? It's 13 Queen Street. So, esto es básicamente lo que vamos a trabajar el día de la clase que vamos a hacer con unidad 2, segunda parte. Espero que, que les agrade este, esta forma. Si tienen algún comentario, lo pueden hacer donde les voy a mandar este video. Y si les gusta, cualquier comentario lo pueden hacer. Nos vemos entonces en clase. Ah, se me olvidaba mostrarles la hojita donde yo se la voy a colocar para que vean las actividades que hay que hacer. Aquí están. Esta hojita yo las coloco en los grupos, en el grupo, y ustedes de ahí se van a dar cuenta qué actividades tienen que hacer. Ok, bye bye, see you, see you next class, thank you very much, I love you, I love you guys, goodbye.